as a police officer, you can't go around threatening to lock people away for things that are not against the law. Imagine if I was a cop and I went and threatened people with jail because I don't like the shoes they've got on, right? Let's say their shoes have, you know those shoes with wheels on them? Imagine if I went up to someone with one of those pairs of shoes and said, you're going to jail, son. I don't like those shoes. They're illegal, son. Even if they're not, I just say, no, they're illegal, son. You're going to jail next time, all right? Walk home. Not with those shoes, though. Walk home barefoot and never come out here with those shoes again, all right? Or you're going to jail. And I'm going to seize the shoes. I'm going to sell them on eBay. I'm going to donate the money to... So I'm going to make this very, very crystal clear for you. Okay, so there's no confusion. Okay. These, your personal e-scooters, electric skateboards, segways, any other electrical personal transporter, yes. except for the ones in the city, the purple and the orange ones that you're allowed to ride, are illegal. Okay. You are not allowed to ride them, period, unless you're on private property. Right. Period. Crystal clear on this. this like, it's a road-related area, mate. Okay. So, no. Right. Okay? You cannot ride it. End of story. Okay. Okay? I've told you to write a letter into the Member of Parliament. Just because you've written one in doesn't give you an exemption to ride. You wait That's until not why I thought, though. No, no, but you wait until the law's changed, and you'll find it, because you find it on my gov, on the, my licence thing, all right? Are we crystal clear? Yeah. Yep. So unless you're riding the purple e-scooter, no. that one there, you are not allowed to ride any electrical personal device, except for, obviously, an electrical device. Okay. You will be mailed out a fine for riding this, and riding unregistered and riding unregistered. Okay. okay. If I catch you a second time, I will be arresting you. I will be arresting you and I'll be seizing that. I will be arresting you and I'll be seizing that. So I just had a thought. Imagine being so lucky to have been born as this guy. Just having that drive, you know, that urge to get up in the dark and lead the choir. Get into the park, crack down on these scooters, take it right down to the wire. Hell, start a fire. You really want to be that next buyer? You call it cheap transport, I say you're a liar. Get me my pliers, let me get up in that wheel and start a fire. You know you gotta hire a lawyer to talk about that tire. Request a foyer. A foyer? Let me request it for you. At worst, this is a commuter. At best, it's just a toyer. I'ma jump on my computer and figure out this scooter. Situation. Best transportation in the goddamn nation. Now I'm off to the station to gain emancipation. <laughs> I wouldn't have time to finish that one, but... Just take note. See on the right hand side, I'm holding a drink. Take note of that drink. That thing is delicious, guys. I came, out, I came to this park to enjoy it. And just enjoy the scenery. And then look what I get. But remember that. Because when we start this actual video. Remember this is still the coming up. No we're in the previously section. And then the coming up is coming up. That'll only be like one minute. And then the video starts. So remember that drink. Walk up here. Do not catch me riding. Spend the weekend with the cells. But guys, I still, I'm, I'm rambling a bit. I've got to tell you what is going on with this cop and these lawyers, don't I? It's freaking interesting. Wait till you hear it, guys. Wait till you hear it. You have no idea. Some of you probably don't believe me, right? You think I'm just making this all up so I can get away with a fine, get away with, you know, get out of jail free, get my... EUC Right No the guys it's not that's not what it's about this is true I've been working on this for forever it seems it seems like it's been forever and it's happening guys it's a thing it's a real thing and now it's going through the court system that's what's gonna happen guys So if you don't believe me that's your prerogative but 
One thing you should realize is you have absolutely zero way of proving me wrong. Zero. Like I said, in theory, what I'm telling you is 100% possible. So even if you tried to accuse me of being a liar, you can't disprove what I'm telling you because it's 100% correct. It's like, it's like trying to disprove gravity. I mean, you ain't going to do it. And it's all going down, baby. I mean, this stuff is... Mm. I can smell the victory in the air already. One thing they told me though, guys, is that they want to wait till the fine arrives in the mail before they proceed. Because, you know, he's going to give me a fine. But it hasn't arrived yet. And one thing most of the... Because I told you I called like lots of different lawyers. And most of them were asking me what charges did I get. And because no fine has arrived, I don't even know. I don't know what charges. So they said... <laughs> right? But my thinking is, what if no fine ever arrives? What if I wait and wait and he just forgot to send it or whatever? Then what? Well, I think it's irrelevant. Because he threatened me with jail and he threatened to take my IP. He threatened to seize my intellectual property. So, if you ask me, it, it matters not. It doesn't matter at all what charges he's filed. He could have made up any bullshit. He could have wrote whoop de doo on a piece of paper and sent it in the mail. I had no choice though. They didn't have any... And guys, this is just blocking every time I sip it. What's going on? I gotta return this thing. It's not working. It's not working, guys. Mmm. Got the juice. All right, guys. We're back. And hold on, let me turn this music down, huh? A little bit loud. So, I've got big news today, guys. Big news. And a lot of you know that about what happened with the cop recently. Slowly releasing that footage, I know. But don't worry, the, the full video will be out soon and it will be a good one. That's why I'm not releasing it yet. I'm just like making these smaller videos first. And I'll tell you a little bit about what's going on though. Little update. And we'll find a topic to talk about like we always do. You know, out here in the park, we'll just talk about one specific topic about EUCs. But first, I'll tell you about this cop, all right? All right, let's set the camera down. All right, and it's hot today, guys. It's a hot one. It's not that hot, but to be wearing all this gear, it's very hot. So let me get this off. Oh. My watch. Let me find some music. Something. What the hell is going on with this? Oh man, this... Because the screen's cracked and then when I get a bit of water on it, I spill a little bit of this juice on it. Then it's like hard to friggin' press the screen. 
And I got a juice, I got a... What is it? It's mango and passion fruit and coconut. It's deli... Oh, this is so nice. This tastes like some kind of milkshake, you know? Better. Better than any milkshake. Because it's natural, you know? And... Thanks again. All you guys. Especially you guys that have donated. And... This one is on Lewis still. Remember Lewis? He sent in a donation for one week's worth of juices. Or seven episodes. So that's probably a couple of weeks. Not bad, huh? Not bad. But yeah, I didn't get the carrot juice today, Lewis, because I went to Boost Juice, as you can see. See, Boost. And I boosted straight out here. So that's why. No, that's not why. Because... Actually, Boost Juice does sell carrot juice. But I noticed they had that mango and passion fruit. So when I saw that, I was like, yeah, let's try that. Actually, I had tried it before. I'll tell you an interesting story. It's the exact same juice I was holding when that cop stopped me in the park just a few days ago. So I was thinking, this better not be the same thing again. You know, like tempting fate. Again, out in the park with my tech. And my drink, same drink, different area though. Guys, no cop is driving into this park, I can assure you of that. The one where he drove into, it was in the city. And believe it or not, he was in rush hour when he drove into the park. I could have even got away easily, but when I saw him driving in, I thought, now nah, let's film this and just see what he does. I'm kind of glad actually, because you're gonna wait till you hear what I'm going to do. Wait till you hear. Well, it's not what I'm going to do, it's just what is. It's the... It's just what is, it's what he created. Alright, so what did he do? What did he create? Well... Oh look, you can see a bit of that juice spillage. It sucked actually, guys, I spilled this friggin' mango drink all over my glove. Had to go find a tap. It, was, it sucked. I wish I got it on camera. But... Yeah, so what, let's talk about the cop first before we get onto the topic. And as usual, I'm going to take off my shoes, see? And socks. Why? Because I want to touch the earth. Get in contact with that negative 20 millivolts that it offers. Those electrons flowing into your body. Really good for you. And anyone that doesn't know about that, look into it. It's it's real science. The earth carries a charge. And when you touch it, you pull in electrons, which basically offsets antioxidant damage, oxidation. When you oxidize something, you lose electrons normally. So when you can replace those, there's nothing better, really. It's better, you know, you get antioxidants in fruit and veg, but it's nothing like touching the earth. That is the, I mean, just the level of antioxidation. I don't know how to call it. But anyway. Mm. And that is superb. I mean, you can't even describe it. That tastes just, oh, that's amazing. For one thing, it's the first thing I've eaten for the day. What time is it? Let's see. See, it's 10 to 6, right? And it's the first thing I've eaten for the day. So that's why it tastes good as well, because your taste buds are enhanced, you know, when you haven't eaten. But it also tastes good because now I'm drinking it in peace. Last time I was drinking this, I was being apprehended by a, a filthy pig in disguise or in a costume. Being threatened with incarceration, being threatened with being put in a cage like a dog. Not like a dog, you don't do that to a dog, you don't do that to anything. Being put in a cage like a. I don't know. And now I'm not, now I'm just chilling. So it tastes amazing, guys. 
So what am I going to do though? Well, let me tell you what I've already done. Not just in the last couple of days, but in the last few years, guys. And I'll just show you, look. Pretty nice area. What have I done? Well, I spoke to a bunch of lawyers already. I must have rang at least eight different law firms. Eight. And most of them are pretty good. I had one dickhead lawyer telling me all I have to do is go into the police station and ask them. He's like, why are you asking me? Just ask a police station. I mean, are you even a real lawyer, dude? I already went into a police station. I've been to multiple police stations and asked them about this and they all said it's fine. So obviously this lawyer has no idea what he's talking about. When he said that, I was like, oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna go now, bro. And he was kind of upset. He was like, oh, blah, blah. Like you could hear him getting like emotional. Cause he didn't, he didn't know what he was talking about. You know, here's me. I've never even read a single book on law and I can already tell this guy is foolish. But every other lawyer was pretty good about it. A few said that I've got an excellent case actually. And I'm waiting for some of them to call me back. I'm waiting to hear about the fees as well. Because I'm looking for a free like first consultation. I haven't been able to find that. Best I've been able to find so far is a $200 first consultation fee. So that's a bit, you know, it is what it is, but we got to do this guys. This has got to go forth. You can't let this maniac just go, you know, run free in the park with his car and his gun. Who knows what he's going to do next, right? He's going to imagine if he saw me going zero miles per hour, maybe three miles an hour, if he's lucky, and he threatened me with jail. Imagine what he's going to do when he catches Coogee Rolls going 50 miles an hour. He's going to get life. Life in prison, guys. Maybe execution. He might execute him on the spot. Who knows? Just to be safe, you know? He might say, nah, look, I better just execute this guy. Because if not, we might not be so lucky next time. So, we got to do something about this guy. Guys. Do you hear that guy, guys? We've got to do something about this guy, guys. If I only had one sub, it would be guy. Guy, guy. What's up, guy? <laughs> no, but... We're heading to... We're getting to 500 subs, too. That's not bad. Not, not a bad milestone. It took me... Guys, I got stuck on 350 for like two months. And then it started climbing again. I don't know what even happened there. But nothing changed. It just... Just... Deadlock. All right, let's find a different song. But guys, I still, I'm, I'm rambling a bit. I've got to tell you what is going on with this cop and these lawyers, don't know. It's freaking interesting. Wait till you hear it, guys. Wait till you hear it. You have no idea. I want his badge though. I'm gonna, I want this guy's badge. And I want his... What else could I have? Maybe his... Pension? We'll take his pension. Why? Because, well, for one thing, he threatened me with jail time and he threatened to take away my device that he didn't even check what it was. He didn't take any notes. He didn't look at it, inspect it. He didn't do a single thing. He just threatened me with jail time, said it's illegal, and that's it. Didn't do a single thing, and now he's screwed. Why? I'm a mechanical engineer, like I told, well, most of you know, and I've been working on some algorithms relating to a personal mobility aid that looks just like this, right? Just like this. And what is it? Well, let me explain it to you. Let's assume you guys know nothing about PEVs, all right? Nothing about any kind of mobility device, and I'll explain it assuming that, all right? So, 
my walking aid is basically this small platform that has a wheel but it has no propulsion all it can do is brake that's all it's got is a brake and what it does it brakes in an intelligent manner it's got an intelligent brake that only applies as much braking force as you lean backwards okay so if you lean back it'll apply the brake to keep you upright just like when you brake in a car it throws you forward and just like when you pull the rug out of someone's feet they go forwards like if you pull it backwards it's the same concept and it's the same concept as your regular electric unicycle when it's slowing down okay so my device that I was riding in the park on that day on that very day has no propulsion like I said all it's got is a brake in order to propel yourself forward what you gotta do is kick it like a skateboard or you can carve it like a longboard and then you can move it's not so good for going uphill although you can still do it you can kick all the way up any hill in theory if you're going downhill then then you're talking aren't you then you don't need to kick much just like on a push bike you can cruise down a hill or anything with a wheel anything with at least one wheel you can go down a hill can't you or a bit of tailwind you got a strong tailwind then you can cruise so that's the only way I can move on this device, okay? It's by kicking, carving, going down a hill with gravity or going with the wind. Aside from that, there is no propelling this device, okay? It's not motorized. It's just got a brake. It's a magnetic brake controlled by a computer connected to electronics and a gyroscope where the gyroscope will tell it what angle it's on. Like I said, when you lean backwards, it breaks just like a regular electric unicycle. Can you see the parallels? So it's very similar to an electric unicycle. The only difference is it can't propel you. There is no propulsion. It's all human powered. Okay? And the lawyers know about this. They know about it. They find it very interesting. And I'm even going to do a demonstration. They want to see this device. And they're going to see just what I mean. It can't propel. No, no, no. No, sir. Not one bit, guys. And that's why this cop messed up. Because what did he do? Well, aside from threatening me with jail time and threatening to take my intellectual property, right? This is an invention. This has got countless hours of work that's gone into it. And he's, th he's threatened to just take it away because he doesn't like scooters in the park, right? What a guy. What a human being, right? But that's not the point. The point is... That he made me walk 10 miles with my mobility aid, right? So if, you, if you're taking notes, you would have realized this is a mobility aid. And you would realize that I have two foot injuries right now. See that big scar right there? See that big scar? Well, that's impeding my ability to walk. And then if you look at the other side... That is another injury that's impeding my ability to walk and I have long-term wrist problems, okay? I've got a, a medical history of it too, I can prove it. So for him to tell me that I have to ride a scooter, because that's what he said. He pointed at the scooters, literally, he pointed at them and said that's what you've got to ride. Just after he threatened me with jail. So I'm basically being forced to ride a vehicle that I don't even know how to ride under duress, under the threat of arrest and jail. So I got on it and I fell down, like I told you guys. I aggravated the injury on my right ankle and I also hurt my wrists a bit. And when that happened, I said, no, I can't ride this scooter. I'm just gonna have to walk home, okay? Not with the help of my mobility aid, but with the burden of it. Okay, so instead of being able to use my mobility aid, I had to carry it. I had no money for a taxi or a phone call or anything. I had to carry it 10 miles home, roughly. It's not exactly 10 miles, but let's just say that. Actually, it's more like probably six miles, but still, guys, still. I think it's over six miles, actually. 
six miles with a, a leg with two leg injuries and the burden of having to carry my mobility aid not be able to use it to help me walk which is what it's for i had to carry it guys and that's caused i mean i'm sure that is going to cause long term injury long term i mean i feel sick even talking about it <coughs> oh, jesus and that's that guys that's that i reckon i've explained most of it and that's exactly what is going down it's going th right down to the wire and some of you might be thinking you don't believe me perhaps you don't believe i've been working on these algorithms or you don't believe that it's even possible perhaps i guarantee you it is it is absolutely 100% possible and just let me explain what it um a bit of the the workings of it so since you can't propel on these things right like i said it's just got to break it doesn't have propulsion so all you can do is lean backwards you can't lean forwards and take off like you would on a on an electric unicycle right you have to kick it and you have to carve so that's that's how it works you can't lean forward if you try and lean forward you're just going to fall off it's not going to provide the acceleration required to bring you back to the neutral angle after you've leaned forward all it can do is provide the braking force when you lean backwards okay and that's it that's how it works it's pretty interesting too because if you were to take it down a hill you can pretty much pick up as much speed as you would on a regular bike it wouldn't it would probably have even less resistance because it's just got one wheel maybe that probably wouldn't come into play but it's it's a pretty cool device guys you can fly with the wind i mean this thing is sick what's with this is blocked freaking blocked what's going on just so you can see this stuff i mean this is amazing this stuff is just epic a bit expensive though from boost juice normally i get them for $5 uh for my carrot juice that is this is 8.50 guys i had no choice though they didn't have any and guys this is just blocking every time i sip it what's going on I got to return this thing. It's not working. It's not working, guys. Mm. There we go. It was a piece of like I think there's banana in here too. It was like a chunk of banana. Mm. We're free. So what was I saying? Some of you probably don't believe me. Right? You think I'm just making this all up so I can get away with a fine get away with you know get out of jail free get my EUC right no the guys it's not that's not what it's about this is true i've been working on this for forever it seems it seems like it's been forever and it's happening guys it's a thing it's a real thing and now it's going through the court system that's what's going to happen guys so if you don't believe me that's your prerogative but one thing you should realize is you have absolutely zero way of proving me wrong zero like i said in theory what i'm telling you is 100% possible so even if you tried to accuse me of being a liar You can't disprove what I'm telling you because it's 100% correct. It's like it's like trying to disprove gravity. I mean, you ain't going to do it. It ain't happening. Right? Mm. I got all the paperwork to show it to. I got about 1000 pages of C code. Can you believe it? C++ all relating 
to feedback algorithms that I've been working on for the past five years. And it's all going down, baby. I mean, this stuff is... Mm. I can smell the victory in the air already. One thing they told me though, guys, is that They want to wait till the fine arrives in the mail before they proceed. Because, you know, he's going to give me a fine. But it hasn't arrived yet. And one thing most of... Because I told you I called, like, lots of different lawyers. And most of them were asking me what charges did I get. And because no fine has arrived, I don't even know. I don't know what charges. So they said it would be best to wait for the fine to arrive before they proceed. Right, but my thinking is, what if no fine ever arrives? What if I wait and wait and he just forgot to send it or whatever? Then what? Well, I think it's irrelevant because he threatened me with jail and he threatened to take my IP. He threatened to seize my intellectual property. Right, it's not just, you know, four grand, five grand worth of hardware. It's, I would say, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars worth of IP, more, 200, 3, 4, 500, you know, there's no limit to these things, so if you ask me, it, it matters not, it doesn't matter at all what charges he's filed, he could have made up any bullshit, he could have wrote whoop de doo on a piece of paper and sent it in the mail, wouldn't make a difference. And like I said, if nothing arrives, still makes no difference. We have to follow this up because he made threats, right? He made severe threats and they're unlawful threats. You can't, as a police officer, you can't go around threatening to lock people away for things that are not against the law. Imagine if I was a cop and I went and threatened people with jail because I don't like the shoes they've got on, right? Let's say their shoes have, you know those shoes with wheels on them? Imagine if I went up to someone with one of those pairs of shoes and said, you're going to jail, son. I don't like those shoes. They're illegal, son. Even if they're not, I just say, no, they're illegal, son. You're going to jail next time, all right? Walk home. Not with those shoes, though. Walk home barefoot and never come out here with those shoes again, all right? Or you're going to jail. And I'm going to seize the shoes. I'm going to sell them on eBay. I'm going to donate the money to... I don't know. I don't know. But... Mm -hmm. Damn. Right? So you see what I mean? You can't... Do that as a police. I mean, it's got to be illegal. It's got to be against policy. It's got to be punished. It's got to be um, something's got to be done about it, right? Otherwise, what does it mean? What do you? What, well, let's think about it. It means that I'm living under the threat of arrest. The, I'm, I'm living under the threat of losing my property, of being locked in a cage, right? If this cop sees me again with this thing so even if he doesn't send out any fines or any charges he's just fucked up my life hasn't he because now i can't leave my house with a walking aid without being worried about being locked in a fucking cell in a cage right like jeffrey dahmer Mmm. Mm -mm. Oh man, that's too good. Oh, well, that's it. I'm, I can't talk to enough about that. How long have I been talking about that for? Like nearly half an hour, guys. Too much. Let's let's talk about a, an EUC topic. I'm trying to think, what could it be though? What could we talk about, guys? On my phone, actually, I got a bunch of topics here. That I just know, you know, I jotted them down. Let's see. 
actually what I did is I took a screenshot of my laptop because on there I just jotted down a bunch of ideas and then just took a screenshot if I can find it though yes here it is I don't, you probably can't see that but it's just a photo of a screenshot it's the photo of my screen showing a screenshot so let's talk about hmm. there's a few oh there's some interesting ones here guys but I, I don't want to talk about them right now because i want to save those for like its own episode i'll just talk about something basic for now um weight of wheel doesn't matter i'll point this that way so you can see the surroundings while i find a topic all right guys anyone that watched the last episode or was it the last one or the one before but anyway this bit has already been shown it's like the chat on the commander so if you want to see this bit just go to the last video or the one before it's the one called commander something it's like let's talk about the commander oh, no it was called how about that commander so just go back to the last video and find that all right guys peace actually no nah, i'm not gonna pick a topic from here i'm gonna just, let's just talk about the commander all right you know the what is it ultimate ball extreme ball i don't know 